Hey guys, no matter which iPad you've got, this video is for you. Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up a screen protector for your iPad. Anyways, these instructions are for those of you who got this stuff, this type of kit for your iPad. So you do have to set this up first. So the first thing you have to do is place this. So this will just help you center everything like it should. Now this bottom piece, that would go where your connection goes. Now before you even do that, I do recommend to clean up your screen. And I did that before, however, I'm gonna clean it again. And you should clean it again, even after you place this on it. This will just help you center the screen protector. It's gonna be a lot easier to place it with one of these things on. Anyways, we're just gonna open up these kits. Now I would only use the wet wipes if your iPad has been used already and you've got fingerprints and everything all over it. However, if you haven't, maybe it's a brand new iPad, you just took it out. And cleaning things with this when it's brand new might make things harder to clean actually. So don't use this if your screen, if you haven't touched it too much already. However, we do have this and this will just help us wipe it clean and you should. You don't want any dust on it because that dust will just stay there until you take off the screen protector and do another one later on. So this is one of those things that you just place it once and then you're kind of stuck with whatever dust is in there. Now, if you've got too much dust, take this off once again and then wipe it clean. Now, unlucky for me, I've got quite a bit of dust actually, more dust than what I thought from before. So although I did clean it, I already got some dust as you guys can see it's building up quite a bit. Now the good thing about this, you don't have to struggle with this, is that it came with this, dust removal. So what is this? This is basically a sticker. So we're going to take it out and we're going to use it to take out the dust. You don't want to stick it too hard on your surface, but this will help you remove any dust that's still stuck in there. And there was quite a bit of dust actually. I'm surprised how much dust there was when I already cleaned this once already. <laughs> but anyways, right now we're just gonna clean it as much as possible. We do the best that we can, especially when it comes with dust. Technically, once you clean it from dust once, unless you have one of those special rooms when there's there's no dust at all, there will always be a little bit of dust left over. So right now we're all done with this. We're just gonna keep it here just in case we get a little bit more dust during the process. We're gonna take out our screen protector. Now this is tempered glass, which is better than what we used to use before. Now, how do you know which ones is the top? Well, usually this part would be the top because that's your camera and everything up there. And you usually don't want anything over that because if this goes over it, it you do lose quality in the end of the day. So whenever you're purchasing one of these screen protectors, you do want something that has that cut out so it doesn't get in the way of your camera. Then what we would do normally is just take off this sticker and then we just place it there. However, before I do that, there's already dust here again. So I have to clean that up. Just little few parts. There's a few little bits of dust. Now there's only so much we can do, but anyways, let's just peel this out. And usually I would say just peel out part of it and then place it. That's kind of exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna place it against there. And here we go. So the good thing about this is that it helps us push the screen protector where it should go until it snaps in place. And what I usually do say is to place your hand in the middle and then all the bubbles will just go to the sides. However, since we have this type of kit, they don't usually do that anymore. You have to take off the kit so the bubbles go away. So we're gonna take off the kit. Here it is, that just helped us a lot. However, when it comes to bubbles, it doesn't really help. So there's huge bubbles here, and that's exactly what you want. You don't want any small bubbles. Small bubbles are really hard to get off. However, big bubbles are the easiest one. So you do want to build them up. So if you have small bubbles like these two, I just want to push them 
towards this big bubble and then the big bubble just push it off to the side and that's gonna get rid of everything and once you're done pushing those bubbles out now what I like to use is something like this to push them out you shouldn't see anything it should be all nice and clean and that would be it for this video anyways if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you